Hey, what I'm about to show you guys are simple, fundamental aspects of fighting games that are often not really taught by anybody. And I think it's a really valuable lesson that is easy to show people. What I'm about to show you is called buffering. This is what they're referring to. So if you look at this input on the screen, she did crouching medium punch and she inputted quarter circle forward heavy kick to do a drill. This is the input that Cammy did from full screen and nothing came out. This crouching medium punch into the drill will only come out if that button is on hit or block. While Cammy is, you know, walking back and forth, she's buffering this move. When Chun Li sticks out an attack and it collides with Cammy, crouching medium hits. The buffer comes out. I am inputting it every single time. This one thing is incredibly safe and incredibly easy to do and makes your neutral much better. So you can see I can just do it all day. And if Chun Li doesn't come into my range, it's a super safe option. Now, that's not to say that there aren't risks associated with it, right? There are ways my opponent can beat this. My opponent can walk up and they can jump, but the buffer recovers so quickly that I can still anti it. The buffer is so safe that I whiffed it. Notice like how early it happens too. Look at this. She's in the air. I haven't done crouching medium punch yet. I input my crouching medium punch. She's in the air. I still have time to uppercut. And notice I did do the buffer right right here too. She throws a fireball. I buffered the drill. You can see it right here. Crouching medium punch into drill. I still had time to react to her fireball with my EX drill. The input that I'm doing is crouching medium punch, quarter circle forward, heavy kick. So how do you beat it? I'm going to show that in this video, right? Walk up and hit a button. Let me whiff so you can whiff punish me. Another option to beat it. Nah, I just let Chun-Li whiff. So now I have two options, right? My neutral is buffer. And if my opponent is beating my buffers, then I switch to whiff punishing it, right? Another way for her to beat it, right? Jump dive kick. My crouching medium punch buffer made Chun-Li think, hmm, how do I beat this? Well, I want to walk up and I'm going to whiff punish him with standing heavy punch. I've just set up the ability for me to jump and I've set up the ability for me to hit whiff punishes just by doing crouching medium punch. Another way that people commonly beat buffers, walk up block. You walk up, you block, my move comes out, the buffer comes out, Cammy's punishable here, you just kill her for it. But what if I just do dash up throw? My opponent wants to walk up block to beat my buffer. Now I have set up dash up throw right now i've set up jump dive kick so that's a really great option same thing here i can buffer into whatever i want right i don't have to even use crouching medium punch drill as the only buffer you can buffer into v trigger you can buffer into super skybound art you can buffer into roman cancel any character any game you can use this right as long as it has special moves that you can input what does buffering with a charge character look like just like this you have to do it a little slower because they're Buffers are uh, charge motions, but you just hold back. You hit standing medium punch into whatever your charge motion is. If it connects, it doesn't come out. If it does connect, it comes out. As long as it doesn't come out on whiff, you can you can do it. Super, Gatling, anything. If you do crouching medium punch and you buffer drill and the drill comes out on whiff, you did the drill too late. That's what that means. It's because the special move motion was finished after your button has recovered. So it's why like buffering off of a medium or a heavy move is much easier than buffering off of a light move. A light move. So games with whiff cancels, generally games like that have certain moves that are whiff cancelable. So like some moves you can whiff cancel and some moves you can't. Does it work in, in 3D games? Yeah, you can buffer a string. You could buffer a down two fireball with Akuma. Now you don't only want to buffer. Buffering makes your ground game predictable. It's why I showed that you should buffer so that your opponent gets worried about it and then you dash or then you jump or then you use a far poke or then you use whatever else you want to do right so now this clip shows an example of putting this all together standing medium kick one poke one buffer two options this will get you so far standing medium kick to poke crouching medium punch it's it's such a simple idea yeah it's an option select and it's a very easy one at that every player does this sort of naturally it's one of those things that is rarely taught, but is extremely useful for any fighting game fan. Listen. The most important thing I want to make sure that's clear, I didn't want to show you guys anything that doesn't work in multiple games. The ideas, you know, translate to whatever. Could you buffer Alt F4? Absolutely. You hold the Alt, they collide, you hit the F4. 